taco, 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 taco. That's right. Today is April Fools. I'm Taco Dan, and today is the launch of the new Dano's Taco, because we put the O in taco. Today we're going to make chorizo egg muffins. Let's go. So the first thing we're going to do is get our little nine ounce tubes of chorizo and we're going to cut the top off. And we're just going to pinch off a little bit into each little tray. If you squeezed it out and portioned it perfectly, you should have your 12 little pieces of chorizo in your little cupcake holes. Take your hands and we're going to push this chorizo down around the bottom of the cupcake hole to cover the edges. So you should have your chorizo spread around the edges with an open bottom, just like that. Change this glove. Now we're ready. Now we're gonna chop us up about a quarter of a bunch of some cilantro. Here's a little bit of advice for you or a hack or whatever you wanna call it. When you get down to the stems of the cilantro, you wanna cut them very thin because there's a lot of flavor still left in those things. Chop up the leaves of your cilantro. Now we're gonna dice up half of a white onion. Fine dice your one jalapeno. Now we're gonna dice up one tomato. Now we're gonna add all this to our bowl except for the green onions. We're saving those for last. Now you're gonna need eight farm fresh eggs. Now you know what time it is. It's time for the taco. That's the orange top. We're gonna to sprinkle generously, my friends. Remember, Dano's is never packed full of salt. We use real sea salt so you get that salt flavor that you need. It's made with real love, my friends, and real ingredients. Now we whip. If you don't want as many vegetables in there, just don't use as many as I did. But I like a bunch of vegetables. This part's real simple. Just spoon in your eggs. Look at that. In case you didn't know, I'm totally winging this recipe and it worked out perfectly. Remember those green onions? We're going right on top. Dust it with the Danos one more time. Once again, happy April Fool's Day. 20 minutes later at 400 degrees, that's what you get. As you can see, it's stuck to our pan a little bit but we still got them out. We're gonna go in with a little hot sauce and now some sour cream and a little bit of cilantro right on top. All right, so our final result actually looks pretty good even though we lost all our chorizo. Let's go on and give it a bite here. Mmm, this flavor is out of control. The only thing that happened was the chorizo didn't cook up right. So I think we're gonna try this again with regular sausage. Yeah, I'd say the presentation, two out of 10. The flavor, 10 out of 10. Yum, yum, get you some. 